This is Donald Trump behind bulletproof glass in Wisconsin only days after his running mate said that school shootings were just a, quote, fact of life. And Donald Trump said a lot of insane stuff throughout the speech, but he may have honestly broken a record for most glitches in one speech because every single time he opened his mouth, he either skipped syllables or slurred his way through sentences entirely. I also want to highlight Donald Trump's fear-mongering tactics that are on full display throughout the speech. I'm not even kidding. There is a point where he says that immigrants are coming for you, transgender people are coming for you, Marxist Democrats are coming for you. He's so desperate to claw his way back up, and we have a lot to break down with little time to waste. So all that I ask is that you leave a like on the video below and subscribe to the Adam Mockler channel. In this first video, Donald Trump genuinely says the words, poor Russia. We go, it started again. The Justice Department said, Russia may be involved in our elections again. You see that, Mr. Congressman? Great congressman from Texas, you see that? Russia, it's Russia. And you know, the whole world left out of this time. Two and a half years, not a phone call made to Russia, not anything to do with Russia, except stopping their pipeline and lots of other things that these people approved. And they said just the other day, the attorney general, uh, we are looking at Russia. And I said, oh no, it's Russia, Russia, Russia all over again. But they don't look at China. And they don't look at Iran, they look at Russia. Okay, a few things annoy me with this. Number one, Donald Trump is willing to latch on to any conspiracy theory possible, whether it's about elections or court cases or AI crowds or Kamala Harris using notes. Donald Trump is the king of latching on to conspiracy theories and boosting them to MAGA. But all of the sudden, when the conspiracy theory is that Russia is meddling in our elections, which they have every incentive to do as one of our biggest competitors on the global stage, probably the biggest competitor other than China, then all of a sudden, that is a crazy crazy conspiracy theory that the radical Democrats made up. It is so convenient for him that he can make any conspiracy theory up that he wants, but then when Russia actually genuinely interferes with elections, all different, all MAGA supporters are like, no, that's, that's, that's a stretch. I don't think that would actually happen. Also, just notice how Trump talks about fellow Americans like they're his mortal enemies. Vladimir Putin doesn't even need to divide the U.S. when he has Donald Trump doing it for him. And finally, I want to replay the first second of this clip. Listen to how much he glitches. Like, I can't even understand what he's saying. You go, it's so Again, the Justice starting. So in this next clip, I want to show you, I want to show you a series of clips where Donald Trump's fear-mongering tactics are on full display. I'm not gonna lie, he usually tries to hide them or weave them, weave them together a little bit more covertly, but in this speech, he just let it rip. Every single fear-mongering tactic back to back to back, and Aaron Rupar helped us break it down. He said, a huge part of Trump's speeches is fear-mongering about fantasies completely disconnected from reality, and here is a clip of Donald Trump saying that if you send your son Jimmy off to school, he's going to come back with a brutal operation. I'll debunk it after. Can you imagine you're a parent and your son leaves the house and you say, Jimmy, I love you so much. Go have a good day in school. And your son comes back with a brutal operation. Can you, can you even imagine this? What the hell is wrong with our country? It's laughable. It's not funny, but it's laughable because number one, he's just fear mongering. Number two, this is not how it has ever worked. Children don't get surgery. Teenagers, after years of therapy, may get some sort of puberty blockers after the consensus of a doctor, a board of psychiatrists, their parents. So after the parents, the doctor, the child all agree that they can take the next steps after years of therapy, then they take the next steps. It is never, ever, ever the child unilaterally going and getting some sort of surgery then coming back home completely different. That has never once happened in the history of America. Anytime, it, anytime a, a teen does get surgery, it is a 17-year-old, 16-year-old who has been thinking about this since they were 10 years old. And it's just what Donald Trump is saying is a lie. But next, he says that Israel will be gone if he doesn't win. Event World War III, and I'm the only one that can do it. I Trump is the only one that can stop World War III, apparently. Will prevent World War III. And if I don't win this election, Israel, with comrade Kamala Harris at the helm of the United States, is doomed. Israel. So that is not true. Also, so far he said that your kids will turn trans. We'll be World War III. We'll be in World War III, and then Israel will be gone. Next, Donald Trump says, I better win, or you're going to have problems like we've never had. You guys see the pattern, right? You guys see the pattern of his fear mongering. I better win, or you're going to have problems like, like we've never had. We may have... 
No country left with it. More fear mongering. <clears throat> Donald Trump then uses more crude transphobia and it gives one of the biggest applause lines at his rally. Build Watch. a missile defense shield around our country. <laughs> Keep critical race theory and transgender insanity the hell out of our schools. Yikes. They are culture warriors. They don't care about actual issues. They don't care about child tax credits. They care about culture wars. This is Donald Trump glitching. Veronica says he verbally, cognitively glitched here, backtracked and covered it up, then launched into Project 2025's plan to eliminate the Department of Education. Hey, New York Times, he's getting kind of old. And the New York Times won't call this out, but I'm sure they've made articles about Biden today. I've written articles about Biden. Take a look to indoctrinate America's youth with all sorts of things that you don't want to have our youth hearing. Ultimately, we'll live, and you know what we're doing here. I say it all the time, I'm dying to get back to do this. We will ultimately eliminate the Federal Department of Education and send education back to Wisconsin and back to the states. We'll send it back to the states so that Ron Johnson can run it, okay? I say this about abortion all the time, but sending it back to the states leaves each state open to taking the most extreme measure. When they tried that with abortion, Arizona reverted back to a law from 1864. Donald Trump, again, fear-mongering. This is the clip where he says, I better not win or you'll have problems like we've never had. Claire said, I need the media to stop covering him like he's a legitimate candidate. He's an aspiring dictator spouting absolute insanity, full stop. And that is why we take a unique coverage perspective on the show. We go through and we debunk everything that he says rather than just kind of skirting through the clips like, oh, isn't Donald Trump so crazy like CNN does? We go, no, he is wrong about this. And Jeff says in response to Trump saying, can you imagine your parent and your son leaves the house and comes back transgender, blah, blah, blah. Jeff says, no, but I can't imagine Jimmy ending up on a goddamn slab in a goddamn morgue as a victim of yet another school shooting because these are fundamentally unserious idiot people. These are, there are enough real things to be afraid of. No need to invent any like the rubes do very, very true. And Donald Trump is up here on stage absolutely melting down. One more clip of Donald Trump calling Elon Musk Leon Musk. It's actually kind of hilarious. And at the suggestion of a great guy, Elon Musk. Has anyone ever heard of him? Huh? No? Just wait. Just Elon. wait. Oh, there's a rocket. Oh, there's, look, a rocket's flying. It's Elon. Now nah, he's very good at what he does. He's going to have to save them. They have two people up there. Boeing had a little, I shouldn't say there's a beautiful Boeing plane there, but Boeing uh, had a little hard time, as you heard. So they're going to save. Leon's going to send up a rocket. Leon? He just called Elon Musk Leon. No shot. Donald Trump's rallies behind bulletproof glass do not make him any less insane, and that was just confirmed. All that I ask is that you leave a like on the video below and subscribe to the Adam Mockler channel. Comment hi, Adam, if you made it this far, and peace out.